Hey guys, this is probably gonna be my last float of the year. I'm out here on Deer Creek. There's no ice yet, so. Bringing the tube out here, just walking it out. You know, hopefully we can get into some nice bows today. Just gonna enjoy the last bit of still water fishing I get to do before we're stuck on the tailwaters for the next few months. So, Deer Creek is pretty much my nemesis. It's usually fish is tough for me, so maybe we'll be able to find a good bite today. We've got some uh, cloud cover, a little bit of wind. You know, it might snow late in the afternoon, but for now, this should be pretty ideal conditions to go catch some fish. Hopefully, conditions are finally in our favor for once on this still water. Trying hard to pace myself walking out so I don't sweat and then freeze later. But kind of getting a little overzealous here. Excited to fish today. I did forget the toe warmers, so now it might be a little cold. Should get into the high 30s, so, so it won't be too bad. All right, so Deer Creek is really low, as most of you guys probably know. So part of coming out here was to just to see what uh, the underwater structure looks like that you're normally fishing over. And you know, some of the areas I get bit out here make a lot of sense seeing the contours. And I didn't know this point was such a a point, I guess, if that makes sense. It's usually this looks more like a straight bank, but this kind of has a shallower drop right here. So it's kind of like a dome. See some bigger rock piles and stuff. So it's kind of cool. Anyway, got the hover line on this uh, Echo Stillwater. I'm trying out a new rig. It's just got a few uh, minnow flies on. I've got the Type 8 on my Streamer X right now. Hopefully that's not what it takes. And then uh, I've got an indicator rig. Hopefully they're up in the column. They should be. I'm not that optimistic about seeing coronamids out today. But maybe once it warms up, we'll get a few. I feel like it's mostly going to be a streamer type deal, streamer leech type deal today. So, just uh, stick with that. For now, I've got the hover line hoping to fish up in the column. It's going to be what I try first here. We're icing up in the guides pretty good. So I'm just going to kick over to this cove and point and kind of see if I can dial in a spot in the rig. You know, it, it could be a grind. Hopefully it's not. Going to vary some retrieves up here. It'd be nice to get hit right. Oh, yep. Dude, right away. Sweet. Okay. What was I saying? It'd be nice to get hit right away. That doesn't look like it's a terrible fish. Dude, the triple minnow rig, huh? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Dude, that's a pretty good bow. It's not a recent stalker, that's for sure. Let's see, he hit the point. That makes sense. Yeah, there are rainbows in here, so they're going to fight a bit harder. This was a rig that I was theory crafting. I'm glad it, you know, for a couple casts in, it works. Oh, maybe it's not as big as I thought. Just fighting hard. Not deep at all. Oh. 
Okay, let's see if we can keep them up and swing them around here. Yeah, that's not a bad bow. Definitely a holdover. Okay, I'm probably gonna try and avoid getting my hands wet this early in the day. But yeah, he ate my, the point, which is cool. Let's see. Yeah, cool. Don't need to touch him. See, I've got this little minnow, minnowy guy. I know it looks kind of terrible out of the water, but I can guarantee you it looks pretty good in the water. But here, it's a pretty decent bow, you know, 14, 15, something like that. Let them go. They're free. All right, that's a good start. Maybe we'll have some fun today, huh? Couldn't even get 20 feet offshore. So that was faster pulls too, which means, uh, hopefully it means they're a little more active and chasing. Cover some more water. Don't need to get down too far either because it's on the hover. Hopefully that wasn't a random fish as well, and we, it's just gonna be the thing as opposed to I'm gonna beat my head against the wall for two hours trying to replicate it. Okay. Just trying to see if I'll ever see followers today, but I don't think, with this cloud cover and flat light, I don't think that's gonna happen. Oh, okay. All right. Not the best set right there, but we got a need again. That was farther offshore. On the drop. Ooh, he's chasing it. There we go. Okay, off this point. Another decent hold over. He is not on the point as well. <laughs> oh dude, my net is stuck together here. Okay, we'll go no net, I guess. Yeah, he's on the top. I wonder if there were more chasing it and he's just the one that got eaten because he's on the top one which also means they might be shallower dude that's a pretty good bow huh? I'd like for him to not blow up my rig oh nice got himself unhooked there he is cool did he blow up my rig kind of yep that's great all right so right off this point seems to be the spot right now It's actually pretty interesting that that one ate the uh, top fly of the rig. The idea behind this is I'm kind of drawing a little bit of inspiration from a, like an umbrella rig or an Alabama rig. 
and that, you know, bait ball type thing. And you know, on those rigs, you put the hooks around the back ones because they're more likely to hit the one in the back of the pack. So it's interesting that it just hit the top one. That might be a depth thing since my rig's not really like a cluster. It's like in line vertically. So maybe it just means they're up in the water column and that's the one that was uh, in the strike zone, I guess. Either that or since it, something had missed it like three times, maybe it had just like driven by the back ones and missed it and... Oh, there, oh, dude, they are there. Come on. I, I stung that one. Dude, I like this. This is working out. Might catch a few more and see if we can catch them a different way. But, uh... Yeah, this is working, for sure. Four eats and two fish to the net with this rig. I think we could throw it and catch fish. I might change the flies up because I got two different sets of flies and wanted to try out. But those ones clearly work. I am going to throw an indicator rig now though. See if they want the leech more than the minnows, minnow patterns. Okay, so for this I've got a my balance leech, my balance life leech in a in a blob. I do want to kick my way into this cove and use this rig to kind of test areas around that cove. All right, day two. So, got the call from the wife yesterday to come back in. Go only got about an hour of fishing in. So, came back out here for the morning. You know, we started to figure something out, eliminated some water yesterday, so I'm just gonna start with what was working, see if we can replicate that pattern. Throw in my triple minnow rig here. Hopefully, just have a good morning. We had a really warm, well, you know, relatively warm night last night. It's not above, or it's not below freezing this morning and I'm out here at around 7.30. So, boat up a bit of a sweat walking out again. So it might get a little cold in a sec, but yeah, just gonna throw this triple minnow rig, see if we can replicate what we were doing yesterday. Maybe, uh, I decided to start out along some of these uh, deeper walls because the point that I was catching them before is behind me. I'm just seeing if these uh, deeper main lake stuff, this is like the area that's holding fish or if it's just the points and we can just run points if we need to. Anyways, uh, got a little bit of chop on the water, which is good. As I was walking down, it was a little glassy and was able to see a few fish pushing bait. They're rising at least. I assume that's not for insects. And just, it's more likely they're pushing bait. So hopefully they're up in the, up in the water column. I'm using my hover line again. I have the same setups as yesterday. Uh, I, I changed out some of the stuff on the indicator rig to test some new patterns there as well. So maybe we can try a little bit of that if we feel like it'll work. I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure I've caught an indicator rig fish on Deer Creek. It's all been streamers. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, this is a streamer chase base or chase bait spot for these fish. But hopefully the hands stay warmer today. I got the toe warmers in this time. 
pretty much just drift with the wind here down this bank and then what we'll, if we don't pick up a fish in like 50 yards or so we'll kick back towards where we were fishing yesterday again let's vary our depths and retrieves a little bit until we figure something out and it's a really nice morning though good day to be out got cloud cover some fog we're on the front edge of a front so I don't think it's gonna rain or snow on us when we're out here, but it's coming. I actually see some birds working bait around. Or is a good sign. I actually kick in a little closer to shore here. Fish behind us. There we go. Okay, maybe out deeper. Dude, we might have a double on. Maybe, maybe not. Felt, we felt weird. Feels weird. Feels really weird, honestly. Guess we'll find out, huh? Nah, it's just one. Okay, that's a little farther out. Yeah. Not a bad fish. Okay. Angry. Ones yesterday were angry as well. Lift him up. Yeah, that's a fat bow. Oh, we got him in a weird spot. That's why he's fighting weird. Just outside the mouth there. On my little balanced minnow pattern now. Water's not that cold. Yeah. Nice chunky bow. Look at that. It's a solid one. That one's been eating some bait fish. There we go. Oh, that's a nice one, I think. Oh, yeah. Which one did on point again? Yeah, that's a decent one, huh?
Oh, again, my rig is fouled up again. Oh no, he's on the middle one. I think. Yeah. He's on a, something with the tag. Yeah, it just shows. It's not always a point one, I guess, huh? Lift his head up. And these holdovers are, you know, becoming a little more like wild fish. Just a little bit. Not bring my pot. There we go. Yeah, that first one I think that's been on the middle one of this rig. But, okay. Got the hands warm enough. Dude, these are built like tanks though. Oh, there you go. Can't even get my hand around him. Okay, I've got a balanced, a couple of balanced minnows on the indicator rig. Just try it out. Again, still want to eliminate some stuff, and then, you know, if the only thing they're going to eat is that uh, minnow rig on the hover line, then we'll fish that the rest of the day. Or until they stop eating it. Yep, just staring at an indicator. Here's a chance to warm up our hands a little, huh? Oh! I don't know if I moved that or not. I guess I could have. That didn't move the bobber like a... Huh. Yep. Balanced minnow. Oh god. Can't get tight. Can't get tight. There we go. Huh. Okay. That's fun. Which one's it on? It's on the squirrel's onker one, not the buggery type one. Oh, okay. <laughs> yep, so that, uh, that probably was that fish. We cast it right back to that spot. That's cool. Balanced minnow. It's also what's at the end of my uh, three minnow rig on the hover line. Good at netting. Oh, now we're in trouble. Oh, okay. Did I break? No, I didn't break it off. Okay. Cool. Okay, hands are getting cold again. Another fat bow. Yep. I've got a couple of different balanced minnow prototypes on that one. So, you know, it could be depth on why I ate the squirrel's onker one versus like the buggery soft tackle type one. Could be depth, could be preference. I might switch them around if this seems, if this is how we should be fishing. You're like perfect amount of chop for an indicator rig. Yep, okay. Again, would be interested to see what this one's on. Oh, get tight.
okay. <laughs> That's a nice, that's a, that's a nice bow. A big one. A little longer than the other ones. It's looking like he's on the top one again. Yep, on the squirrel again. Oh, I guess I should get my net in front of me here. I'm just getting tired here. I actually thought he was going to pull it off on that burst. Not very good rod position there. Okay, let's keep him up on top. Try and land it. Yeah. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. Oh, nice. Popped out. Let's clear the flies. This guy's angry. These are so fat. Look at these guys. Not back into the net. There you go. Ooh, okay, cold hands. Let's try back. Go to the shore a bit. Yep. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's a jumper. Oh, he took the bottom one. Okay. Took the buggery one. Close to done yet. Yep, there we go. Fun. Man, finally figuring out Deer Creek, huh? These bows fight hard, that's for sure. Okay, I think next one, maybe I'll be able to lift him. There we go. Nope.
Okay. Let's give up, dude. There we go. Come on. Oh. Yeah, on the bottom one. Uh, Barbless hooks. Gotta love it. See, that's like a little buggery thing. It's got some marabou tail and uh, I put some partridge as like a soft tackle. Anyways, that's what he, this guy ate. He's chunky. And if I was harvesting fish, these would probably be some good ones. Anyway. Honestly, the indicator rig, I don't know if maybe it's just the activity is up a little bit. Indicator rig seems to have a little bit better uh, catch rate right now. Also seem to have found a good depth. It's get about like seven, eight feet, something like that. I think the top fly is at around six and the bottom fly is around eight. Last one was shallow, so didn't seem it's like a offshore type thing. Wanna kick back over to my point a little bit. The water's kinda gotten a little glassier right now. There's oh there's still uh let's see if my theory's correct. There's still a little bit of chop, so it's getting some movement. It's, it's not just dead calm, but I was going to say, I bet you the squirrel one gets eaten better than the uh, marabou one when there's a little less movement. Because when I was sink testing these, the squirrel one moved a little bit better with very little uh, like influence. And the marabou one took a little bit more uh, force to get the movement I wanted out of it. And I was right, that one's on the squirrel one. It makes sense, it makes sense to me at least. fish fight hard. No strawberry cuts, that's for sure. Okay. He's gonna try and dive and be unsuccessful, huh? Oh, that Now he didn't break me off. Just popped out, which is perfect. Clear the, clear the flies. Yeah, he's on the squirrel. Dude, that's a chunker too. You know how chunky these fish are. Let's get this stuff out of the way. Look at that, look at how broad he is. Anyway, it's all like, Two and a half pound bows.
Oh, you hit the bottom one too, the bugger. Down. Cool. Let's warm it up. Get our hands wet through this one. And there's a football. Okay, regret. Alright, guys, so I was messing around on my phone with my rig hanging off my float tube and this is what I come to when I pick up my rod. <laughs> so, this isn't a point in the favor of the moving flies though, because they were just essentially sitting suspended. <laughs> On the second one too. Not on the point. No, no, I don't want him to wrap me up. Okay, 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 okay. Can these just pop free? It's in a rough spot, I think. Oh. oh, okay. Well, I guess that's the definition of a bonus fish, huh? You can just not pay attention and catch them right now. Back to the triple minnow set. Just got bumped. Yep. Dude, just get it. There we go. No, dude. Still chasing? Okay, first cast doing that. See? Sometimes gotta be can't be afraid to change. They're eating the indicator rig better last hour. Now maybe they'll eat this a little bit better. Just this has got more movement now. Finally figured something now. <laughs> Gotta rip it. Point fly. That's a good one. Guys on shore got one too. 
See, look, we got a little bit of chop, bite turns back on, right? Okay. Okay. No, 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 no. Break the tip off this rod. Yeah, that might be the best one today. Cool. Yeah, that's a football. Alright, I'm just gonna spend the rest of my time throwing a indicator rig. See if we can just soak it, pick up an extra fish or two before we gotta head out want to catch a football game so just fish in the morning oh <laughs> I was moving it as I was kicking a little bit of movement help there. Oh, it's been a little bit. 20 minutes maybe. Blue. Okay. Oh. We're gonna have to bring in my net retractors caught on something here. I'm gonna have to bring him up like right here. And fix this. No landing net. And this one's like blue. Perfect. Okay, let's figure this one out now. All right guys, I was packing up the tube and saw a couple of fish rise in front of me, so I'm trying to pick them up, but that's going to do it for our day out here on Deer Creek. You know, we've, Deer Creek usually fishes tough for me, and today was pretty good. So, uh, you know, we... Yes! As we're filming the outro. <laughs> you know, we tested out some minnow patterns. Oh, my rig's all tangled up. We're testing out some minnow patterns, and as you can see, they work. But, uh, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Consider subscribing if you haven't yet, and I appreciate all of you. Anyways, here's the last chowder of the day. Smallest one.